What's up guys? Samahan nyo kami ngayong araw na to dahil uh, day off ako. So, bago namin mamamasyal lang kami dito sa malapit na sa viewpoint. So, makikita natin yung mga ibang magagandang tanawin dito sa England kung sa kami nakatira dito sa Southwest. So, samahan nyo kami. You excited? You excited? No! Yeah, no! Ako? Si Chloe ngayon nasa school. So, sakto. Kami lang tatlo. Uh, mamaya pa namin siya susunduin. So, let's go! Ready? Okay. Let's go! No, leave it. I don't think it's gonna rain. Makulimlim ngayon, pero hindi naman siguro ulan. Ganito naman lagi dito sa England. Laging makulimlim. Oh, yeah. Blaklak na. Nung isang araw, medyo maganda yung panahon. Um, talagang sunny. Ewan ko ngayon, ba't naging makulimlim ulit. So, ang gagamitin namin ngayon yung van. Dahil tatlo lang naman kami. Yung van na lang gagamitin namin. Wait, yeah, Zoe, wait, Zoe! Come on. Oops! Oh my god! Sit down. Sorry. Ah, oh, she's ready! Oh. Ayan guys, so ganun lang ang i-vlog namin ngayong araw at uh, very short video lang dahil nung kasing dinaanan ko yun ng isang araw napakaganda nung um, view so sabi ko babalikan ko to at uh, okay. dadaling ko dito sila Roxy dahil napakaganda ng view tatambay lang kami doon kung palipas oras at uh, mamaya susunduin namin si Chloe Why are you so serious? Who, me? No, not me. <laughs> yeah. This is England. In Always we have to give the way. Car park everywhere on the road. <laughs> that is uh, not very road. It's so uh, narrow. Yeah. Some of isang them they are really narrow. Like isang susakliyan lang yung magkakasya. So pagka meron kang kasalubong na... Uh, Sasakyan. They look like uh, one way <laughs> to be honest with you. Umatras pagka pagka walang ano kasi meron lang space doon hindi hindi lahat ng road. Kumbaga pagka nagkasalubong kayo sa masigip na lugar, kailangan isa sa inyo magbibigay. Either aatras yung isa o kaya ikaw. Depende sa laki ng sasakyan mo. Mamaya makikita niyo yung mga country road na dadaanan natin. Yeah, back to the car parks. Guys, most of the houses in England, like, um, yeah, some of them, they have even more than 100 years. So, this is like, how was it the past? Like, not so many people, they had a car. And now, almost everyone have. Even per house, even two, three, not even one. Some of them more. So, now it's a little bit problem with the car park. Because not everyone, have their own car park so they have to park on the road yeah we've been here with Chloe and Zoe
Oh, there is the helicopter. Ooh, they flew. Now, guys, we are just passing some small village, as you can see, it's church everywhere. It's church. Every small village has a church. <laughs> They've got them everywhere, seriously. And look at that roof there. It's like, oh, the cross. It's a really old kind of the roof. Not so many houses they still have like this. Provincial, provincial, talaga to, guys. You know, like, yeah. it's so difficult to make them probably. And not so many of uh, people they know how to make. Now maybe it's like, phew, yeah. We have also in Poland like this kind of the roof. Um, but in different part, of course, not in Zakopane. Obviously, we didn't been in so many places in Zakopane. They are also nice. One day, why not? John, yeah. we would like to travel around the world. Yeah, we will. We will. I would like to visit so many countries. We just been uh, um, one time. Of course, I'm not gonna talk about Poland because this you know already uh, in Zakopane. But we just been in uh, Kanar Island, Tenerife. You can check in one of our video. It's really nice video when we starting uh, doing the uh, vlogging. Yeah. To be honest, no. Even it's not. Did we talk there? No. Uh, no. That time we didn't talk. More like a travel video. But it's really nice how you make it. I like. Um, sometimes I'm sitting at ho at the house and I'm playing that one and we watching with Chloe. She like. Uh, watching when she was small and yeah it's nice memory and she was so big baby there <laughs> so chubby <laughs> and even now she's laughing for herself in it Zoe she's going steep oh another villages yeah probably The weather is not bad, at least it's not raining. It was just a little bit. And yeah, we have February and it's not that cold, isn't it? Already it's like you can feel already the spring, so everyone is a little bit happy about that. In my country, in especially in my part, so you can enjoy now uh, skiing, still a lot of snow. Probably, at least last week, I think it was still there a lot of. So, yeah, people they enjoying still with the and snow. So, however, we can uh, show you the places here in England where we are living. At least not keep any. At least they could see, yeah. Yeah, Around. exactly. This part of the England I like seriously, like mm, similar, like in Zakopane. No, the thing is like um, they don't have a mountain, yeah, and it's not like tourist tourist place like busy because Zakopane is so busy whole year. Yeah. And the churches like this, they have a lot of uh, old church like that one. Plus they don't have like Termehovsk, explain them like this uh, yeah, water, like warm the, water from the ground. Spring, spring hot water from natural spring water, yeah? They have a lot in Poland. Yeah, this is it's nice. Even one of the Filipina, um, I saw she... Um, she's living in the Philippines of course and she have a Polish husband. I was watching the um, vlog and she said like she like watching... Um, like uh, the spa or something like this. I, I think maybe she means also like this uh, Termihohovskaya, what, what we visit already. Like she would like to vi one day go and visit. So probably she will because her husband, he planning to take her there. 
they are they doing lots of vlogging anyway a lot of polish people who living there in philippines they they doing the vlogging also Cut. so we should sleep <laughs> Country road, guys. Ito, guys, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo yung uh, country road, yung isang sasakyan lang yung magkakasya. Yeah, it looks like that. So, pag may nakasalubong ka, this is two ways. Kailangan isa sa Oh, oh, ako. oh, look at. Oh, 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 no. He's coming. I don't know if he's turning here or no. Give him the way on the other side. He's cutting something, I think. You have to go on the side. Like Usually, we should be on the left side because. But it's easier access here, yeah? I don't think he sees us. <laughs> because if he sees us, he would be. I think, yeah. Because, guys, he's, he's turning his head. I will show you. You know, he'll have to look at sometimes. Why are you laughing? <laughs> so, nung papalapit na itong driver, nakita niya nga, nagbibideo kami. So, si Roxy, bigla po nara, bibigay niya yung camera sa akin. <laughs> Ayan, okay, guys, it's it. our turn. What? Show it. Whoa! Ayan, guys, so... He passed. Ini yang saya sampaikan ko, na pang may kasalubong ka sa harap, ini tu boy, pokoknya kain si nasi inyo. My mom she's funny when when she drive when driving with us like this road, so she say, oh my god, nasi, are you sure you can drive here? This is for for two cars, two ways or only one? So what is there? Only the view or? Yeah, it's like uh, uphill. You can see a really nice view on top. It's fun with this Filipino time. Filipino time. Filipino people in Europe, they have to learn the time. Filipino time. <laughs> Yeah, when I think when they going to abroad, so they have to quickly switch. So when they because when, people when they in Europe they don't like when you are late. So Filipino time when we have appointment like two thirty, that means it's three o'clock. <laughs> yeah, because in most European countries, I think even whatever, not even Europe. I think even can be Australia or can be America. It's the same. Like if you are late, so bye bye, <laughs> your appointment is gone. Yeah. Next. Because it's busy always, and yeah, people they treat this as a respect, also for somebody work. Because it's always money, yeah. It's customer is customer. I can take a different but customer. This is, this is only happening in, in Philippines, I, I think. I'm not sure if they do the same in abroad. Yeah? Oh, there, here we are now. Oh, nice! Wow. And dito na tayo, guys. Nice. So with an view. Really nice yeah. Pero, oh. na guys. Nice view, huh? Okay, now guys, tell me where in Philippines, um, which part of the Philippines is like uh, there is like landscape looks like um, like it's a lot of hills like his nice view in Baguio where is it it's it's in Luzon in the main island so this is the this where is the yeah. uh, Manila mm, no no 
little bit a little bit up north mm -hmm. and this is uh, the coldest part mm -hmm. of the Philippines it's really cold there because it's uh, <laughs> Like for me, eh? <laughs> well, if you like. Uh, there is, this is a tourist place? Yeah, it's a tourist place. A lot of people go there. Um, what we can visit? And uh, there, there's a lot of hill like this. Mm -hmm. And you see the houses on top of the hill like that. Mm -hmm. It's really nice there. Nice. And guys, what about you? From where, um, which part of the Philippines uh, are you watching us and just comment we would like to see that place so maybe we'll google it and check how this is looks yeah. because we plan to go and i would like to because it's roxy actually mm -hmm. we have decided that maybe well not maybe but in, in the, the future, future parang ayaw na naming manirahan dito sa england we'd rather retired in philippines so we are thinking about nice place where to settle down yeah like i mean like um uh, uh, what i'm looking so i think i like the place where it's quiet but at the same time um the same time is easy access to the city yeah but not not i'm not i don't mean like close somewhere in manila no and because she prefer like countryside but at the same time more like tourist place like what is more popular you know yeah. like i don't know it's a palawan boho cebu or um, boracay i don't know that's uh, maybe this one of these places somewhere but i don't know Sabi ko sa kanya, so i told her guys um wait until um of course i have to go what? and see but you know Sabi ko sa kanya, um kailangan niya munang maka, makapunta ng Pilipinas bago siya mag-decide uh, kung saan niya gusto tumira kasi ang nakikita niya lang yung mga tourist place, Palawan, Boracay um, yun lang yung mga nakikita niya but I told her once she get to Philippines and experience the life in a different area then that time dun, then she can decide where she could you know where she would like to uh, to live we also would like to like buy like a more modern house isn't it like yeah like yeah or maybe subdivision or whatever like yeah something like that oh. Oh. Hello, open the mouth <laughs> <laughs> so guys look this at the view step by step I know you saw it already but wow just look at that Yan guys, so nandito tayo sa pinakataas. Tapos meron pang road dun sa baba. Ayan. Tapos dito may bench. Napakagandang tanawin. Ganda.
Okay guys, we enjoyed that view here and now we decided that we will have some random questions like um, about the qualities, about, about both nationalities, yeah. Filipino and Polish, something what negative negative um, and positive so John in general what do you think about um, Polish people positive and negative things based on my experience um, for me it's very easy to get along with them um, they're very kind hearted people but at the same time there are some you know shitty people they're like I think Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere around the world this mm -hmm. is in general like this is normal yeah but in general they're very um, friendly uh, they care about uh, family and they're very hardworking I would say like uh, like Filipino people they're very hardworking um, things that we have uh, similarities um, when it comes to nationalities um, Polish people, the majority of the people are Catholic yeah. in, in, in general. Um, well, based in the, in Zakopane, they're very like uh, traditional people. Uh, yeah, especially like older people. Older yeah. people, you can still see, you know, like they still living like in the past. But I think from our age, like. But 30 uh, years yeah. ago it's starting to change yeah but the young generation now like, it's, yeah. it's different from 90s. I'm talking in only in Zakopane people not in uh, in all Poland um, yeah and uh, women they're very beautiful <laughs> yeah boy <laughs> I know <laughs> and uh, the man they're very I have a lot of uh, when I meet Polish people, especially the, the men, guys, they're very approachable. It's easy for me to approach them than mm -hmm. the English people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What surprised you, like positive and negative? Some of the experience I had. Remember when we are moving mm -hmm. and these Polish guys, we, we took a Polish guys with a van mm -hmm. and you know, they trying everything for them not to especially the one the other one the the, the driver mm -hmm. he didn't even help you know he just uh, took the other guy and I have to move with him and he's just standing there not yeah, even helping that and when we uh, when our things arrive in Poland some of them are damaged yeah uh, this was really bad experience with this guy yeah but anyway, there's uh, there as you can see everywhere in the world like good yeah. people and you yeah. know like some of them who just trying to take advantage of you. Yeah. And it's like that. We cannot change everything in the in the world. Yeah. Uh, what's surprise like positive? Yeah, that's what I said. Positive. There, the food in Poland is nice as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, they they don't put too much spices like what we have in Philippines because mga pagkain nila uh, most of their food is like um, it's like a mild mm -hmm. plain you know yeah um, they don't like too much sweet especially when it comes to the meat they, <laughs> they hate it we when don't it comes, uh, uh, if it's about the dinner usually Polish people yeah we don't like the mga pagkain nila halos like salty, savory. Especially like when it's if you're talking about the meat, like because typical like sausage or whatever. Especially men, like women, maybe they try. All men, they hate. Yeah. Because <laughs> they in hate. Philippines, we we have a lot of meat with a little bit sweet. You know, mm -hmm. we we like like this. Yeah. And also uh, about Polish people, they they drink a lot. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Because I remember I when the first, first time, time <laughs> I visited Zakopane and I... I think he wanted to show his set. And, uh, you know, I, I tried to prove myself that, you know, I, I drink, yeah? Like, I'm strong when it comes to drinking. I think he didn't beat my father. But then when <laughs> her father... This is the glass, yeah? He put, like, vodka up to here and uh, mixed with Fanta. 
just a little bit like that, just to have a color on the drink. <laughs> and I said, okay, cheers. So we cheers like that. I thought I can just, you know, sip a little bit, like tiny bit. <laughs> but her father, he drank it all like... And I was like, And this what? was the time when uh, John, he tried to pair yeah. him to it also, of course. Yeah. One and glass, to, second glass, third try glass. Try to prove myself, okay, <laughs> I, can, I can do it as well, yeah? When I was drinking like this, it's like, would like to go back, you know? <laughs> then, but I managed to finish it all. <clears throat> and I was like, okay. I thought we could have a little bit of rest. You know, I told him like, he what are you doing? Time. What are you doing? Don't do it this year. He put one more time. <laughs> this is not competition. <laughs> but and I just this is the man. Trying to drink half of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I started, I started feeling already like something is circling my stomach, you know. And then after that, within just few minutes, he was I'm already dead. Yeah, and, and was he finished uh, his drink? And her father was <laughs> laughing at me like, <laughs> if I don't drink like that, I could I could stay longer, you know. And like, the thing is, like nobody told you like you you have to drink like that. Yeah. I don't know. And by the way, anyway, um, something negative about Filipino, what, uh, based on the, not on your experience, but based on the um, vlog that you watch about Polish people that living in Philippines. Yeah, can you hold you now? Yeah. Because in general, my, um, my, uh, what I'm thinking about the Filipino, they are nice and they are like uh, really friendly, open. Yeah. And this is what I like, yeah, and about the food I like so much. Um, maybe there is some typical like uh, what I wouldn't eat like when it's too much fat. Or uh, John, anyway, John he always preparing this food. Every Philippine, uh, Filipino um, food what he preparing and he would thinking it might be like really typical traditional I wouldn't eat. So he will make like this way that I will eat and, and I love it. Yeah. Even when, um, that's, this is what I like uh, his way how he's cooking this. The same like uh, even about the sweets so because i know what you like so i don't make it as really how really we we make it the way we make it in philippines yeah. so for example adobo you like normally we we use like uh, pork belly but mm -hmm. because you don't like too much fat i use different kind of meat yeah, yeah. so this is the way I, I will prefer the food for roxy the same like sisig Normally we're using like pig face, which a lot of uh, fat as well, mm. which is the skin and all that. I like this. So I try to make it uh, less fatty for her. And some other traditional Filipino food uh, that we have, for example, like binuguan, yeah? I know this is nice. For me, it's nice. I love it. But for her, because she has something in her head that she wouldn't eat blood, <laughs> so pork blood, so you know doesn't matter how nice i will make that one but well, she i have not like the same like in you know like i'm eating kashanka yet yeah? there is blood but this is already you're not putting this blood there yeah yeah so this is the difference this is already done i don't see this because mm -hmm. i'm like i know like john he like flaky yeah i try in my in my life and i know that they are delicious but i have something in the head and i'm not gonna eat that one the same like um, you know yeah but uh, what about like sausage like we in general like yeah said, like, i think they have the best sausage man like uh, uh, polish polish people that's they have why the best um, i would try i would try like but this is like i can try but this is not like i can eat a lot of and i will enjoy because it's sweet yeah for me sweet i, I like cake or something yeah and what about the this is about the food um what surprised me because i start watching a lot of vlogs like polish people in uh philippines, in philippines. so um they talk about basically they talking about everything no you what i catch up some of the thing like i was surprised and a little bit funny for me <laughs> like because we are catholic and i know that most of us of filipinos are catholic and the thing is like uh it surprised me like i know that you don't have a divorce in poland little bit change like you can if you have a like big reason so you can get the permission like to get the divorce yeah even if it's in the church or whatever but the thing is like um i was surprised when they were starting saying like if you cheat yeah for example so your husband or or wife can go to the prison even with this lover who they did this uh -huh. i was like what 
like yeah. three to five years. I was like surprised. I yeah. said, oh my God. <laughs> we don't have divorce, but we have uh, annulment in Philippines. Uh -huh. But still, this takes time. The process of this, it takes time. Plus, mm -hmm. you have to pay quite a lot of money to, to do this. Mm -hmm. So, people, they would rather just, you know, separate without doing anything and just accept it. Mm -hmm. But on but the on the legal totally paper, they they are still not uh, divorced, yeah. Yeah, I know, and this is the problem in the future, if, and uh, about the material things, yeah. And what about the? Another one thing I was laughing like when they were saying about um, uh, this guy. One guy he visit other one, and he records both of them. They are Polish, and both of them they have a Filipina wife, yeah. And he said like there was like a situation they was talking about that I think different guy and was so, like he wanted something from him and he was not at home anyway he was away somewhere yeah and they know each other with the wives or like that and said you know my wife so just go to my home she will give it to you he wanted something borrow whatever yeah there was like the thing is like there was a situation that his wife she was alone at home and he wanted something from him he was away and said go you know you go know to my her. house and pick it up and from pick my it up, wife yeah, yeah. Uh, and he said, no, I will not go. I said, why? Just go, yeah? And he said, no, you don't know Filipino people. They're going to create the stories that we have a romance, that we we are cheating, blah, blah, blah. Said, uh, marites, guys, marites. Because <laughs> in the Philippines, there are a lot of right? So, na, said, no, the family is going to get crazy. They're going to make a story. For example, they're going to make a story. They're going to make a story that they're going to make a story that they're going to make. So sa atin may Marites na gagawa ng istorya na oy si ano <laughs> ano na yan may relasyon na yan no kinakalago yun ayan ni ano ganun ganun dahil wala yung asawa niya so yun yung mga napanood namin na na experience din ng mga Polish guys sa Philippines na yung mga Pilipino eh marami rin talagang Marites which is to <laughs> naman everywhere naman kahit sa sa bansa uh, it's a bit funny because you know if I'm thinking about this how many times I I send you John somewhere even to my old workplace or whatever like they give it for us something yeah, yeah. for children and I said just go she's gonna be at home yeah yeah and you <laughs> you're just going and pick up and that's it finished story yeah, yeah? So, yeah thank you whatever nobody creates some stories uh -huh. yeah that's why it's fun for me and another thing also no about this food so I know like uh, Polish people they mm, they have some of course pig or whatever like yeah what about these guys what did they experience no, about Filipino food he said food? like he have this animal and they killing because they don't like ham and sausage Filipino yeah they like food a la general like this one they don't like so uh, they killing themselves mm -hmm. and he's going to his friend because he creates some uh, smoking meat. smoking uh, smoking area for whatever for sausage, like, yeah. yes how they can prepare and they preparing they smoking this so they, this is funny they eating polish sausage in the uh, in philippines yeah yeah they making their own but kasi naman talaga masarap yung polish sausage nila really nice polish sausage so i cannot uh, argue with that because you really have uh, the best sausage in my opinion and they have a nice cheese ham. I, I like it. This is what another thing that uh, we've noticed uh, that uh, this guy was talking about the negative things about Filipino in Philippines is the Car. way they driving. The way they driving, like um, he gets um, because in general he was taking the stories why they moved to Philippines, that they love this place, they love the weather, they like people, and of course there is like the same like with the Polish, like the some negative and po positive things, and he said like. What is annoying him like when he's driving the car and nobody's signing, nobody look at to the mirror. Walang they are just signal. doesn't care what's going on around. <laughs> wala nagsi signal guys. So wala yung mga driver na nakaka like yeah. ano niya sabay niya sa kalsada. Basta na lang magche-change ng lane, walang but sign. But this wife, she she noticed because she used to live in Poland, she was working there. This is how they met online, but um and they moved to Philippines and she said like yeah that's true like I have experience in, in Europe and yeah it makes like makes different if you look into these mirrors and that one because it's it's just safe yeah yeah and another things what was the uh, what he was saying ah one more thing like he what negative he was just get um, uh, sometimes her brother they coming and they sitting and uh, of course they talking they enjoying but what only one thinks like uh, he really liked them he really liked them but 
he's getting like mad <laughs> when he's seeing like they when they finish smoking cigarette and like ping 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 <laughs> and he said like one time to the hey no no like so you have to stop with this because <laughs> I will explode like he said like what do you think like like I'm gonna tidy up this or your sister, she's gonna bend on me and tidy up your cigarettes. Ah, kasi sa atin, di ba? You have an ashtray here and you can put it there. Pag naninigarilyo tayo sa Pilipinas, basta nalang tatapong kung saan-saan yung sigarilyo, eh, kahit na mayroon namang ashtray, di ba? Eh, ganun sa Pilipinas eh, mga kasanayan na. But, uh, ganun talaga. Kahit naman saan bansa, meron ganun, guys. Sa I think totoo. in general, John, you know, um, I think John, he you know, just like, Polish people they are crazy about the cleaning, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yun pa yung isang um, na positive things about uh, uh, Polish, which is the same in Philippines also. Uh, but in general, in in uh, uh, Polish, especially the Polish woman, they they really obsess about uh, cleaning. Yeah, uh, this is my like obsession, like um, me also. I like. Kaya yung bahay talaga clean, kailangan. I need to have rules like uh, about the cleaning. Tools, mano like, sila sa paglilinis. I'm crazy. Talagang obsess sila sa paglilinis. Kaya swerte ako guys dahil yung bahay namin your life when you have a clean, yeah? malinis so yeah um, anyway guys we will still update some news yeah we... thank you guys for uh, watching us and uh, there you have it uh, some uh, negative and positive things about we what we catch up about uh, Filipino but, uh, and as Polish as I noticed like both our countries are really really we are hospitality yeah really, about, about hospitality the, like, when you have a guest or like yeah. that so just yeah. like a big positive yeah anyway guys for now. thank you guys for pagso bye bye and i'll see you guys on the um, next video and hopefully we can uh, think about something uh, something different what we can vlog to cook we're waiting for spring yeah and uh, summer is coming soon so yeah, we will have a lot of uh, do do the video to come barbecue so see you guys bye stop Philippines! <laughs> Jungle!